Hey guys, is there anybody out there? We'll wait for a little bit. I've got a few things planned for today. Um, yeah, so while we're waiting, um, I'm just gonna go grab, well, maybe I can find something around here. I wanted to show you how these soap molds work. I don't know if I've got any soap around here just sitting around that I could melt down. We'll wait till one or two people are here. Hey, Makeup Junkie, how are you? <laughs> oh, I'm going to do a, um, a review of a Too Faced product. So I'm just going to go grab that. Don't go anywhere, okay? <laughs> I'm good. I'm going to go grab something. We'll start it out. Since you're here, you reminded me that I wanted to do a, I wanted to do a, uh, yeah, so don't go anywhere. Tell everybody to stay. I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. All right. So do you recognize this? <laughs> hey! Hey, Jeremy, how are you? I was hoping if I had a live stream earlier, we get some people from the uh, the East Coast. That's so exciting. I'm opening up my package that I got you from you for my birthday for myself. <laughs> yes! <laughs> You know what this is. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, um, it's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show that. I hope I'm not going to get in trouble, but that's what it's called. It's called Better Than Sex Mascara, and it's by Too Faced, and I am so excited about this. It has been, it's almost like I've got my, my false eyelashes on. It just, it's so thick and so nice. So it's totally worth the $35 or $45 or whatever it is in your area to get it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be opening up a birthday gift from the East Coast from Gypsy Fay Creations in just a few minutes. We'll wait until there's like at least five people here. Um, so if you're there, make a comment so that I know and <laughs> we'll get started. I'm also going to be... Um, Getting the giveaway, the front giveaway packed up. I'm going to just show you how I shrink wrap. So that's kind of a fun thing. I know that if you're a new soap maker, yeah, it's the best, isn't it, makeup junkie? You got to try it, TRFA. If you like eyelash makeup and you're always looking for a really great uh, mascara, um, wow. Wow. It's I have been really impressed. And I've tried just about every top-of-the-line mascara because I have to buy it every month. Um, yeah, very pricey. Birthday present pricey. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Terry. <laughs> totally pricey, but totally worth it, especially for special occasions and you want to just look pretty, pretty. Um, yeah. <laughs> one of my top repurchase items. Yeah, and they've got, the thing about this one is they've got their sparkly one. I thought I was buying sparkly mascara. My daughter got me to, to buy it. I'm like, I like that mascara, honey, but it doesn't have any glitter in it. I thought I was getting the glittery, which is like, no, mom. It's it's just the fancy packaging for the time. So right now they've got the special sparkly uh, containers, which is really, 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 yeah, treat yourself. Urban Decay is nice. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And super pretty. I love, and all of their stuff is scented, like chocolate. I don't know. I didn't smell the mascara. No, it doesn't smell like chocolate. They'll, all of the palettes do, which is super, super fun. It's not sparkly. It's just their regular Better Than Sex mascara. It's just in the sparkly container for their birthday or whatever. They're celebrating too. So I thought that would be an especially kind of fun thing to share with you today. So <laughs> that's what that's all about. Yeah, that's the mistake I made too. That's what my daughter's like, no, mom, it's just the regular. In fact, she stole it from me today because she figured I didn't buy it. And I'm like, where's my mascara? I'm like, Jessica, did you borrow my mascara? It's like, you don't have that mascara. Says, yes, I do. <laughs> she did too. And she didn't know why. Well, I got it back. <laughs> hey, Lamania. Welcome. I hope I pronounced your name right. 
Lamania. Welcome to our channel. Today we're going to be doing the last one of the last unboxings. I have one more. And uh, today is from Gypsy Faye Creations. Tierra Faye is here right now. So make sure you go say hi and check out her channel. Uh, makeup Junkie is also here. Check out her channel. We just discussed a little makeup just for her. <laughs> yeah, your daughter's ready to your makeup too. <laughs> oh, and you buy the good stuff. It's, yeah, it's kind of, yeah, my mom wasn't a big makeup person, so I never really stole hers, but I totally would. Hey, DIY Bob, welcome back. We've got a little bit of an update for you. We made the mold yesterday. I thought I'd pop one out. Here's one of the, um, one of the, it's a walnut, right? One of the walnut molds. So I'm going to do an update for that. Make sure you check each other's channels out. This is how we build a community. These, these chats are great for that. But I also like to have, you know, some kind of content for you guys so you can come back and share it and enjoy it. Yeah, it does make your, your lashes pop. So, Bob, you got to get this because it's going to make your eyelashes pop. Because <laughs> that's what a heavy machinery operator needs, right? <laughs> <laughs> Unless your name is Roberta, then take me seriously. <laughs> or, or you like that kind of thing. <laughs> Just what you need, right? <laughs> well, we're glad you're here. Thanks for popping in. Check everybody out. Gypsy Bay Creations is here. And this is my birthday gift that I bought for myself that I'm going to unbox here. And this is the second time I bought from her. She is for 20 years and I know good soap and her soap is good. It is. So we're going to go ahead and open this now that I've been chatting for a few minutes. Now let's see what I bought, because I don't remember. Oh yeah, it's pumpkin. It's pumpkin some. Okay, I don't want to hurt myself. Yeah, let me go down so you can see. See me open it. Okay, here we go. My neighbors are cutting their grass. What we do here in Victoria in the winter, we cut our grass. Okay, that's a little, I have a really, oh, let's use the scissors. Okay, there we go. So check out, oh, look how pretty she packed it. This is so nice. Oh my goodness, look at that. So delicate so fall. So it smells good in here. And there's a card. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Thank you, your support is, I, I do support you, you are awesome. So there's the card. Here, I'll read it. She's one of my favorite soapy friends. Hey, Jen, thanks again. Sweet friend. It means the word, world to have soap for support. I hope your upcoming birthday is fancy, is, is, is fancy and magical, or very, very magical, TRF. There we go. So there it is. Isn't she sweet? She has a lot of really cute fairy uh, designs, too. You got to check out. She's got this little house thing that is so, so cute. It's got like a little fairy door and it's got like fairy, all sorts of cute stuff. Oh, 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 oh. What's in here? There's there's more than just the soap I bought in here. Oh my goodness. What's this one? What's this one? Give thanks with a grateful heart. Okay. See what's in here. Ah, oh, treats, kitty treats. Yummy, yummies. <laughs> <laughs> yummy yummies it's perfect for halloween so many good treats okay here's the next one. Oh my gosh oh my god thank you <gasps> this is so cute it's so you know and so adorable this is gypsy bay creations artisan soap stewart the minion i don't think i don't think i saw this one made i know i've seen oh it smells so good it smells like bananas guys I gotta make sure I hold these up right so you can see them. See what I mean about her being so talented? Check it, check it. Thank you, this was a gift. Oh my goodness. Okay, I gotta put these where you can sort of see them. Back here will work. Let me get all this stuff out of the way. So there's Stuart the Minion. Good, and then. Oh, these are wax melts. Oh my goodness. These are so cute. Oh goodness. Okay. So these are spiced pumpkin waffle wax melts. So I got to, I got to take one out and smell it because I want, oh, oh my gosh. These smell so good. Holy cow. Yeah. Minions. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I'm so glad you're enjoying yourself here, Bob. Come back anytime. All right, I'm going to open this without tearing it too much. Oh, I hate it when I do that. I should have used the scissors. Oh, this is going in the wax melter right away. <laughs> that smells just like... That smells just like fall. That's awesome. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Mmm, that's nice. She have to go get some of her waffles. Aren't those cute? And there's like, there's like, like five of them here. I mean, this, that's really awesome. That's really good. And I, they're really strong, so they're probably gonna only gonna need one. What else have we got? Oh, here's the soap I bought. She's making all sorts of cute little donut soaps. This one is. French toast. Isn't that cute? I was, I'm always a sucker for donut designs. I love donuts. <laughs> they smell amazing. They smell absolutely amazing, makeup junkie. So, oh, here's a sample. Falling leaves. Oh, this is the one I think that she inspired me with my um, one of my designs. Oh yeah, they smell great, makeup junkie. Her stuff is awesome. Now, when this goes back up, I'm going to post a bunch of her videos throughout it so you can watch her making the soap. Oh, that smells good. That smells nice and fruity. That's not what I was expecting. That's perfect. That kind of reminds me of this um, oh, wax smell that I used to always buy that I can't get anymore. That's awesome. Hey, Brittany, welcome, welcome. Say hello to everybody, the creator of all of these amazing goodies I'm making, who is in Maryland, is that right? Let me see, where how far did this come from? It came from the East Coast, Maryland, Massachusetts, Massachusetts, is it? Maryland, Maryland, Nottingham, Maryland, right? Okay. Made all these goodies. So there's a minion. I'll show you. Again. Yeah, Mar okay, Marilyn. <laughs> I got it right the first time. Okay. So we've got a minion, Brittany. We've got a donut. So you got to go check out her soap. If you want some amazing soap, Gypsy Bay Creations is fantabulous. It is really awesome. And then these, of course, these amazing bath melts. She's just starting to do some more of her products, which you should totally, totally do, sweetie. Just do lots. Just do whatever you want and have fun. Here is one of her bath melts. I could just carry this around in my purse and enjoy it all day long. <laughs> Same with this sample. I wish I bought a whole bar of this because it smells amazing. <laughs> so if you want one of these or one of these, this one's called Falling Knees. And I'm going to use every little bit of that. That is so awesome. That is really, really awesome. All right. So that was my birthday treat. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, and I will recap at the end. So people who drop in later. Um, oh, yeah. Everything's awesome, Tiara. It's just fantastic. I am so happy. So happy. <laughs> Sometimes when you get to be my age, you got to buy what you want for your birthday. And that's that's what I did. <laughs> I got exactly what I wanted. So yesterday we were making uh, molds. So we'll move on to the next um, thing that I've got to do here. And this was a, um, I think this was a tombstone. I'll show you what it looks like. I think it was either this one or this one. So there was, I got these at Michael's. And we did like a two dimensional one. So when I pour, melt and pour soap in there, um, hey, <laughs> definitely check out Gypsy Fay. She's awesome. Hey, Patrick, welcome. Hey, Doug, we're doing great. We just did an unboxing for my birthday because, you know, it's my birthday week. I took the day off, the whole week off from work. <laughs> and I bought myself a bunch of awesome stuff. <laughs> Let me just show that because I think Tara needs to see that people found her. You got a new, you got a new follower from Makeup Junkie, Tara. Hey, Rachel, my sister's here. Rachel Havens. Hi, hi, sweetie. <laughs> so we just opened up another one of my presents that I've been waiting like forever to open. Um, Tara sent this quite a while ago, and I'm probably she's probably wondering like why did that take so long? But I just like set it aside until this week because I want 
Thank you, Doug. Thank you for wishing me a happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> just a warning out there for everybody, you know, go ahead and, and, and meet each other and connect and build that YouTube family, but don't say certain words or we can get kicked off. Um, don't ever say the word sub or um, you can say things like I got you if you want them to know that you're checking them out or, you know, check them out, check, you know, go ahead and, and do that. But I think subs a, a big no, no. So just use I got you or. Yeah, just use I got you if you decided that you like their, their site and want to hook up. Sweet bath and body treats, Christine. Welcome. Thank you for the birthday wishes. <laughs> All right, so we're doing the, the molds right now. Um, thank you, Doug. And this is one of the walnuts that we made yesterday. And I just want to show you how I get it out once it's in. So you just, like, squeeze it. And... Um, it's pretty durable stuff. It is just like the cheap hardware um, silicone. And it's perfect for soap or candles. It can handle that that um, that heat. So what this will look like, what my soap will look like, is this. All right. Thank you, Patrick, for the birthday wishes. <laughs> Go check out Soapy Oaks Farm. He releases the most fantastic um, videos on his products. I just really, I just just enjoyed a really, really great upload on hot process co uh, liquid soap. Um, fantastic. Um, one of these days, I'm going to have some of his products to try. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> um, because they just look fantastic, all natural um, from his 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 farm. Um, there's some really interesting um, new ingredients that he's using. There's uh, let me think of see if I can think of the names of them. There was the some kind of berry. What was that berry, uh, Patrick? It was in Texas, so they have different things than what I can grow here. There was a a tallow berry, and then there was, I think it was passion berry or something like that. Go check out his site. I'll make sure I put a link to his um, site here as well, his channel here. Really, really fun stuff. Really, really fantastic information um, and all natural. Um, I love both. I like my chemistry and I like my, my natural products. I like both. Um, fantastic, fantastic. Go check him out. Um, but just don't use sub on this when you're doing the, the check it. Hey, Michelle, welcome. Lost control. It's my friend, Michelle. Um, welcome, welcome. Uh, for those of you who, who haven't seen the Gypsy Fate Trees, I'm going to just, you know, pop them up every once in a while so everyone can see them. And then at the end, I'll make sure that everybody else sees. Hey, hey, Rich, welcome, New Jersey. Awesome. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Um, so I got, I mean, I, I just, I love it so much. I'm going to show you guys again. I mean, the people who rewatch this are going to think like, I already saw that, but that's okay. It's okay. This is my donut soap. I got it from Gypsy Bay Creations. Go check her out. Tara Bay is here in the house right now. Um, so make sure you go check out her channel. Um, and I will put links on how these were made. This one smells like bananas. This is Stuart the Minion. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. And I keep smelling these. You know, this is just an excuse for me to pick them up and sniff them again because they smell so good. This is a wax melt. A waffle wax melt. <laughs> yeah, Michelle, she is. She's so talented. And she's here, so go say hi. <laughs> and this is a sample of her falling leaves. And in the package, she sent leaves. Fun crinkle stuff. It was it was really yeah. Don't eat it. I know it's so tempting. I want to almost taste it. Ah, oh, so good. She's she's like some of us that when we make our our stuff kind of looks edible. <laughs> I make both because I actually had little kids eat some of these tiny little gummy bears that I made once. They like they kept and I had to stop them every time. No no no, just go wash your hands with them. They were like single use soap that I give away to the kids at the uh, markets and stuff because, you know, it's kind of fun. I have a big giant gummy bear that I made out of soap that I have these little itty bitty ones that I just give to the kids, which is super, super fun. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> hey, yes, my
my sister is from Idaho. I'm originally from Idaho too. Um, I've lived in Kansas and Utah as well. So if you're from those areas. <laughs> yeah, we have a fun Sophie community, don't we, Patrick? I mean, I just, I, we love to share. And if you're one of those people who loves to share, like, come on in, let's share our ideas. You know, it's not about... <laughs> all that secretive most thought makers are pretty secretive about their styles and their stuff but <laughs> you don't have to be it's all good i had a kid take a bite out of my hot chocolate this morning <laughs> yeah put those to the back of it <laughs> oh you were born in kansas what part my family's in the el dorado wichita area Every once in a while, you hear a little bit of the twang. That's from from when I was young. I get around my um, my Kansas relatives, and it really gets it gets worse. <laughs> I love it. I think it's great, but you can kind of hear it if you yeah. <laughs> Fort Riley. I don't know where that is, but I love Kansas, and I love the firebugs. I don't call we don't call them that. We call them fireflies, but uh, we don't have those here. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Okay, so that, that's what I got. I got all these yummy things from Tiara Faye, and she sent a lot of these are gifts. This was a gift, and this, this was a gift, and this was a gift. There are lots of presents in here, too, which is super fun. Thank you so much, honey. <laughs> that was fantastic. Big red one, Army Base. Oh, okay, so that part of, of, of Kansas. I saw, I saw Soper do my box soap she was inspired by. I love seeing that. That's why I do YouTube. Yes, we do. I love that too. I absolutely love it. In fact, I consider the highest the highest form of flattery when someone copies my stuff. I mean, I'm not big enough to really even, I mean, you can take a design and even work it to make it your own so easily. There's no reason to copy it exactly. Um, yeah, yeah. There's just, just, Take experience from your life. Be inspired by everything around you. I mean, I could look at a candy bar. Today I was looking at a candy bar, which is one of the things I'm going to be putting in this package. I'll show you. Ah, my winner from last week is from the is from Canada. She's from Ontario. Go check out her site, Lindsay B or Three Ladies in a Vlog. I'm going to put one of these, and I'm showing off the, the Halloween candies in here in Canada, which my daughter ate. <laughs> Sorry, Rachel, you don't get that coffin crisp. It's already gone. Gone, gone. <laughs> but I am going to be putting a Mars maple bar in each one because these are so good. Oh, my gosh. I was looking at this and thinking, I could make that in soap because I'm making a lot of hot process soap right now. Um, mostly rebatch. In fact, it's not really hot process countertop. I've been getting some really big orders wholesale, which is amazing because um, I just had the one real two live two, two or three retailers, but one that's a little bigger. And so I've got all these like pieces that I couldn't use and cast offs and stuff. And when it's, when it's fresh, it melts down really, really easily. And so this design where it's just simple um, and it's got like a layer of caramel. So you could just, yeah, crunchy bars. <laughs> Sometimes you can find crunchy bars. Yeah. I've, I've, has anybody else tried a crunchy bar? My sister has, which is Rachel. Um, go check her out um, because, you know, I, I bring them down. <laughs> Do you want me to put some crunchy bars in Sarah's uh, package and tell her that one's for you? <laughs> My favorite soap product um, from today because I really, 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 really. My favorite thing of, that I got wasn't even something I ordered. It's this one. That's my favorite one for today. Oh, my goodness. I didn't even know I needed it. And I did. <laughs> You know, I've had a crispy crunch. Oh, crispy crunch is actually um, honey honeycomb. It's that what do they call it? This is seafoam covered in chocolate. So it's like a honeycomb crunchy. There's no rice. It's crazy. Um, you make it with um, a simple syrup, and then you add like baking soda, which makes it go. So it's one of those really light, really fun things. <laughs> Just too old for secrets. Me too. <laughs> Yes, you want crunchy bars. Okay, I'll send you some crunchy bars. Yesterday, it was the coffin crisps that Alyssa got into and ate, ate, ate them. 
this morning before school in her school clothes. <laughs> yeah, it's different. Yeah, the crispy crunch is, I mean, the crunchy bar is like big and it's, it's, Sea foam. If you've ever had sea foam, that's the closest thing ever to American candy, and you can only get that kind of thing at a like a, a handmade chocolate store. Super, super good. So if you make your own sea foam this Christmas holiday, dip it in chocolate because that's what a crunchy bar is. All right. So the beginning one of these, and then I explained how I was inspired by the, my one of my favorite candies. <laughs> so she's getting that, and the next thing she chose was the Goldfinger bar. So she's getting that, and I still have to shrink wrap it, and I'm going to do that here so you can watch me do that. She's getting, and I still have to make the label to go on it. Uh, I don't generally shrink wrap my bars. Most of them just have a label because here in Canada, it's all about minimal packaging. In Australia, they have Violet Crumble. Oh, good to know. I'll have to ask if New Zealand has those next time I place an order with the uh, Star Soaps. <laughs> All right. Bye, Rachel. Thanks for stopping in. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how I shrink wrap. So that's the next um, activity we're going to do. And then she's also getting one of the bloody fingers, which if you haven't heard the story of the bloody finger, ghost of the bloody fingers, that's what this bath bomb is. One of those. And it's a jelly bomb. But it's super, super pretty. And this is actually, if she breaks it, she'll have three brightly colored baths that will not... Kit Kat's your favorite candy bar? Awesome, Rich. <laughs> your hubby sauce runs. You get all of those things sent in, don't you? Um, uh, um, the last time I placed an order was Star, Star Soaps. Crystal sent me, and you got to go check out Star Soaps here on YouTube. Super cute. Another handmade soap artist, you know, just supporting her family. Um, she sent me... Uh, I asked, I, paid, oh, I think I paid more, but maybe not. <laughs> it's really nice. Um, something called pineapple lumps. And I want to make a pineapple lump. Do they have that in Australia, Michelle? It's like a chocolate covered. I don't know how to explain it. It's soft. It's not taffy. It's not gummy. It's not like a buttercream, but it has its own texture. It's super, super yum. Ick, Michelle tasted once. Vegemite? Yeah, I'm not. Mm, mm, can't. I tried so hard to like Vegemite and Marmite, but. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> they like have my sandwiches. You heard that um, police song? The police that used to sing about, I don't know, the 80s. <laughs> then about one of the Australian bands. So I had to try it. <laughs> yeah, the British also have a crunchy bar. Yeah, they do. They do. They do. They do. Um, Commonwealth countries tend to have a lot of the same stuff, which is really fun. You have to be raised on Vegemite. So your husband made sure, didn't he? He put it on his toes. <laughs> That's so funny. I find that I can tolerate it. Like, the way I liked it the most, if I ever had a craving for it, like when I was pregnant and stuff, I'd often get like these weird cravings. And I took my toast and that was one of the times, the last times I ate it actually, is I put lots of butter and then it melted in and then I put just a tiny little bit of the Vegemite because I wanted something salty and it's super, super, super salty. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely um, something you, you, yeah, you have to. Okay, next item that we're drink wrapping and I have to thank one of you I'm not sure who it was it might be Sin City Soaps it might be Renee from, um, from Soaps with Love but I'm gonna put cardboard on because Tiara's soap that I sent her broke it was the first one to break I've sent them all the way to New Zealand and not had any break I sent her one of my um uh, I think it was my Medlar soaps little tiny facial soaps and it broke on her so we're gonna try this and this is actually a soap dough so this isn't a, a hard soap at all so this isn't going to be a really good um test of it yeah it kind of does taste like it does have a meaty taste vegemite um so i'm going to put the cardboard on the back see if that helps but this is a soft soap so this is for her kids i know she's got some really cute kids Lindsay b um check out her her blog it's uh, three ladies in a blog her kids are so they're so cute. She just started her own um, her own YouTube channel. So 
So she's a very avid YouTuber. I think she's on all the time, like all the time, all the time. So I'm going to send those along with the candy bar as her gift because that's what she picked. Let's shrink wrap them. So I'll show you how I shrink wrap. You just use a tiny touch on toast. Okay, it's not like peanut butter. Yeah, the first time I had it, I put it like on crackers and I spread it and I was like, because, you know, Mr. Bean loves it on his twigs, right? The twig crackers. Everybody, anybody like Mr. Bean? Yeah, he like made this appetite. It's a Christmas special, I think, that comes out every year. It's kind of like Charlie Brown Christmas or Halloween special. The Mr. Bean Christmas special, he, he, he forgets to make his appetizers and he has his friends show up. And uh, he has like these little twig crackers that are British and he he dipped each one of them in and, and served them up as, as an appetizer. So yeah, it was still a little bit and they're all like eating these little nuts. I'm not going to say bad because I don't like it. That's just not my thing. <laughs> but yeah, they're salt. it's really, really salty. Okay, so let me show you how I shrink wrap. This is my heat gun. Because most of you aren't soap makers, so you don't do this. It's going to be noisy, and I'm going to hold it close so you see what's going on. Okay, so I start with this one. And I usually go on the back first. And then I'll go around the side. Oh, go too close, you make a hole. It's a lot harder to show people how to do it than to just do it. I'm gonna have to redo this one. Actually, it's fine. Okay. These ones are fun because you actually want it to sort of pop. This is so hard to do holding it up, guys. Usually I put it down on a on a surface. <laughs> <laughs> it really just wants to melt right through. <sighs> and this one is shrink wrap because of that like gold spot you saw there. Make sure it's all nice and smooth. There we go. All shrink wrapped. Yeah, let's see if I can do a better job with this one. Now it'll kind of just pop. You don't have to actually cut it. I used to cut the little like a hole in it before. Bye, Patrick. Thank you. Thanks for all the hugs and the support. Check people out. You might be somebody else that you enjoy here as well. Go check out Sophie Oaks Farm. He is an encyclopedia of Sophie information. He's fantastic. Yeah, that gold stuff is actually white on the inside. There's the bloody finger. I shrink wrap a few of my sews, but I'm not a big fan. Exactly. There is actually, when I buy my, here, let me turn this off. I think we're done. When I use up the stuff that I've got, and there isn't a lot of it, and I buy a shrink wrap system, the shrink wrap, the big, um, I think it's called the American Sh Shrink Wrap Company. Uh, anyway, the big one. I'll put a link, if I remember, when I review to the shrink, they do have a biodegradable one. So that's what I'm gonna buy when I finally save up the thousand dollars or five hundred dollars US, seven thousand dollars Canadian. <laughs> it's not that bad, but it feels like it. Um, <laughs> to buy that because um, a lot of things that I ship kind of need to be shrink wrapped because they get shifted around a lot. But anything that's in the stores, just yeah, national shrink wrap. They have a biodegradable one. Bio, yeah, I think it's biodegradable. Yeah. So when you buy, if you buy a Nash, if you're going to get the system, you can get that. Yeah. So that's, that's what I'm going to switch over to. But it's also a lot of work. So I'm going to save that for my artisan soap. And my, um, my wholesale soap is just going to be naked. In fact, that's what I call my... <laughs> I also have naked honey, naked lavender. <laughs> All right, so we've done we've done the molds, we've done the unboxing, we've done the packaging. Um, yeah, the only thing I've got left to do is cut labels, which is not really that not that fun. So if any of you have any questions, yeah, the gold soap makeup junkie actually smells like Fruit Loops. Is it Fruit Loops that I used? No, Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles. So it smells really, really fun. 
I like his, yeah, I like the cigar band. Yeah, yeah. Especially, it seems to do really well in the store. It stays nice and it stays pretty. Um, yeah. <laughs> and Michelle made, oh, if you want to see what made it gold, uh, go to the Goldfinger beginning of the Soaptoberfest celebration videos here on the feed, and I'll show you how to do that. You can do it with any of your soap. I basically took mica and shook it in a bag and covered it up. And it's cold processed soap because you can't really get that color unless you do a little uh, oil of olive oil and mica drizzle and then can, and you get a little bit, but you don't get that much gold, right? You can do it with, um, hey, thank you. I'll get you back to it. <laughs> Bye, Tara Bay. Thanks for coming. <laughs> awesome. If I don't want to use SLSA in my cupcakes, what could I use? Well, if you don't want to use um, SLSA, you can use goat powder, goat milk powder, or um, any kind of milk powder. There's even like a buffalo milk powder, and there's yogurt powders. It gives the um, it gives the bath bomb a little bit of like creaminess on top. They don't actually get the big bubbles because that's what SLSA is for. And if you're not using SLSA and you're using a colorant, and you uh, you also need to use instead of well, you could use polysorbate, but a lot of people don't like polysorbate 80. Instead of polysorbate 80, you can substitute turkey red castor oil. And my friend from Atomic Bath and Body, Tammy, she swears by it. And I did just order some of her stuff. So I will be doing some, um, some, some demos of her stuff. I can't wait. I got a mystery box. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally, finally. Um, she's the one who, yeah, turkey red, sulfonate, sulfonated castor oil. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. If you don't like the polysorbate 80, I find I like it, but sometimes I don't. So I've tried both. I've tried both. Are there any other questions out there, soap related or otherwise? Okay, if not, I'm going to do a quick recap of what we did. What about jailing clay alternative? I'm not sure what you mean. It's called, does it have a smell? It's called sulfate. No, it doesn't have a smell. It's fine. It is a dark, darker amber color sometimes, so it might affect your color. Jailing clay alternative. Kaolin. Kaolin is awesome. Kaolin, um, Kaolin I use it more for a fragrance anchor. But it also will give your, um, I, that's just another really great um, ingredient. Um, it'll give the water a softer, silkier feel. Um, cornstarch will also do that, but a lot of people don't like cornstarch. You can also put tapioca starch in there. What are some other really fun things um, that add to the bath bomb? It's not a filler. Some people think, oh, you put cornstarch in your bath bombs. That's just a filler. No, no, it gives the water, oh, it gives the water a really, really silky feel. Okay, cream of tartar will make it harder. Yeah, yeah, it's expensive though. Yeah, yeah, you can use cream of tartar also as a hardener, which is really, really great. Some people like to put different kinds of oils in instead of um, instead of spritzing too, uh, especially the harder oils like coconut oil or um, cocoa butter or shea butter will also make it more, more solid, which is really, really fun. Um, at least that's my experience. Not everybody will agree with me. Do you find that clay absorbs humidity from the air? I'm not sure. I work in a very, very humid environment. And so I use a lot of those things just for that reason. And I always say a little prayer every time I make bath bombs. Because <laughs> there, I swear, <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Salt would pull it from the air. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Certain salts will actually sweat. So I've heard that the um, Dead Sea salts aren't very good to use in a Solsaipa. Um, I don't know why. Um, I haven't actually tested it though. In Mountain Pour, it causes it to sweat. Um, you just made a batch with the cream of tartar. How did you like it? Did it turn out nice or did you get cracks and weird things going on? Did it help with that? Hey, our spot, welcome. We're just winding up right now and talking soap, but if you have any questions about bath bombs, that's what we're talking about right now. Things to, to reduce the um, 
um, yeah, humidity issues that we face. <laughs> All right, check out everybody here, our spot. Um, are there any other questions? They turned out nice, but a little crumbly. So yeah, you never, you never really know. Yeah, and you could do the exact same recipe the next time and they're perfectly hard. So just keep trying different recipes for your area. If you've purchased one of my recipes and you're having trouble, let me know and I'll work you through the troubleshooting because there's a lot of different factors that I can't, um, I can't, uh, I can't make an all purpose recipe for some things. And um, that's really what you're paying for when you buy recipes from me. Is that thing to do if they're a little crumbly is to shrink wrap, shrink wrap them and then you don't have to worry, um, especially if you're going to be selling them. When my wife has the baby, she may be interested. Ah, nice. Very nice. <laughs> I also do um, milk soap. So um, if she wants to learn how to make soap, um, human breast milk soap is amazing, especially if it's your own and your own kids and your own family. It's fantastic and I do have a video if you want to see how it's done uh, I know a lot of times as a mother we end up with so much milk <laughs> uh, and Koosh welcome welcome we're just winding up go ahead and have a look I am good I'm just celebrating my birthday and let me show all the new people who've just arrived what is going uh, what I got and what is going out in the giveaway I'm going to be doing another giveaway tomorrow Friday Every Friday at 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, I'm going to be doing a giveaway to celebrate Soptoberfest. And this week is also my birthday week. So we are, was talking to about a friend about sugar sprinkles on soap. I said to use colored salt, but she said the salt would pull too much water out. Oh, well, then she's going to be really, really happy with this, this week's upload from me because I made sprinkles without sugar, Michelle. So you got to check it out. But Yeah. Heather. Yeah. <laughs> so I used, I basically used one of my, um, yeah, yeah, definitely let her know. If she wants to learn how to make soap, there are a lot of amazing tutorials. Soaping 101 is really, really good. Um, you can watch people make soap. We all do it differently. It can be a little confusing. Um, there's quite a few like paid um, tutorials out there that are really, really good. Um, but yeah. I know you use sugar sprinkles. Yes, and I love sugar sprinkles, but not all my customers love sugar sprinkles. I use um, sugar sprinkles from Sweet Apolita, which are awesome. And then there's this cupcake one that comes in the mail. I love that. I love them. And they don't bleed on me, which which is fine. But I've been thinking about it ever since I started using them. You know, how how can I how can I just use soap instead of, you know, sugar? Because a lot of people don't like sugar. I mean, I created the, the sugar-free uh, bubble icing for that reason, too, because there's a lot of people who don't want sugar in their bath. Um, there's certain conditions that aren't happy about that when you're bathing. And um, so I, I use that particular thing to make sprinkles. So I'll show you how to make those. Yeah. The salts will put too much water. Yeah, they, they might. Yeah. Thank you for the happy birthday. Yeah, definitely take notes. <laughs> so what I got from Gypsy Fae Creations, my favorite thing, we'll start with that, and it was free. She gave it to me. This is a present. As I got this Stuart the Minion. Isn't it cute? And it smells like bananas. And I bought French Toast Donut Soap. Even get it on there without getting a, a, a flesh. And she sent me falling leaf sample. It smells like it's very fruity. It's really, really nice. And it's a really cute design. We'll make sure I put some links here afterwards on how she made these things. And some wax melts for my waxer. Hey, <laughs> gotta live carpet pythons. This woman has the cutest. Thanks. Oh my gosh. You got to go check out her channel, guys. Go see her. Check her out. So much fun. I'm falling in love with her snakes. <laughs> I actually had a dream the other night that I had this big, giant carpet python. Yeah. <laughs> it was really neat. It looked a lot like her, her big boy. Let me think. I'm really bad with names. What are your snakes? There's Amara and 
what's the male snake? There's a, um, she's got a, I actually made snake sprinkles inspired by Gotta Love Carpet Pythons. So we were talking about the sprinkles thing. You know, you can make anything out of sprinkles. If you can pipe it, then you can make your own sprinkles. And I made little, little pipe. Hey, Renee. <laughs> you made it i almost got off a few minutes ago okay i'm gonna have to stay on for at least 15 minutes <laughs> renee is in the house <laughs> but we're talking about this week's upload which is going to be um uh soap sprinkles um so you're making the sprinkles for your soap or for your bath bombs and stuff um they're going to be piped and so i made actually a little python so go check out gotta love carpet pythons hers i'm just trying to think of the name of the male snake Ah, can you help me out? Jack, thank you, Jack. Jack and Amara, they're so cute. And one is one is white and the other one is dark and they're just so beautiful. <laughs> so I made little orange um, snake sprinkles for uh, you know a Halloween project that I was thinking about. So those are, that one's coming out today. It should be uploaded later today. Um, and... I'll just show you what our um, our winner last week chose um, one more time and what she's going to be getting so you didn't miss out on anything. Um, so she chose the gold bar, and I still have to put the label on this one. I've got to make labels. And she's getting some – I'm sending her some of this um, soap dough. This is a pumpkin – honey pumpkin gingerbread soap dough. It's a soap recipe that never got hard, and I – I was actually really glad about that because there's no cornstarch or anything in it. It's just soap and it's ready to use and it's super soft. And I was able to mold it into this cute little thing. Is this, a, is it you Renee that suggested the cardboard? Cause we were lucky enough to have Gypsy Fae Creations here when we did the um, unboxing, the birthday unboxing and hers got broken. Like the first soap card that I've ever sent out got broken. I mean, I've sent them to New Zealand and I've sent them to Texas and I've sent them all over the place, like all over the place to Las Vegas, nothing. So we're gonna try this and it's a soft one. So if this one makes it, I'm thinking I'm gonna do this with all of my soap cards. So just use the cardboard re re reinforcement. So she's getting that. She's getting one of the Bloody Finger bath bombs. with the so if you haven't you haven't heard the story, Google it. <laughs> Hers will be coming with the story. That's my product that I'm. That's my product idea. It's coming out for the holidays. And wasn't there one more thing? Oh yeah, she's getting a Canadian candy bar. It's uh, really really going to be exciting for some of the Canadian uh, for the Americans because they don't. I don't think you guys get the maple candy bar. Has anybody ever seen it in the store? I've never seen it down there. Oh, thank you so much, hun. Ah, <laughs> I would definitely ship to Australia, hun. And I only charge actual shipping. So if it seems really high, um, I will refund any overage charges for shipping. Um, I am not trying to make money on, on shipping. So whatever the actual shipping is, that's what shipping is, that's what you pay. And if I quote you less, then I will pay for that extra. So anything you, you want me to send you, sweetie, I will send it. So, and, and extras, I always send extras. <laughs> All right, so that, that's what the winner is getting. Tomorrow there will be one more draw. We're gonna be doing this again on Friday. Um, these um, live shows will only pop up once in a while, and but the regularly scheduled um, events will be on Fridays. And I'm gonna go ahead and let you know now, I'm gonna be doing some more draws in November for Christmas. So I've got a Christmas, um, giveaway series also going on and it has something to do with all of these um, i'll just give you a little bit of a, a heads up with all these wonderful soap makers that i've been buying from for my lush fund um uh, reviews so um yeah so on fridays i will be posting on 7 p.m um pacific standard time so if you can join us that'd be great but you know go ahead and make posts in the comments i answer all of my um all my comments when i can um it might take me a little while and sometimes they don't show me them all my hubby's family is in brisbane oh nice 
<laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, Michelle is, Michelle, are you in, are you in California? Yeah, so we've got, oh, this is awesome. This is what I love about YouTube. You guys are getting to know all my other friends. This is awesome. <laughs> Ottawa, right, Ottawa. Who is it? Is it Renee? You're in, Renee, you're in, you're in California, right? Yeah, where is everybody from? If you don't mind sharing, whoever's still on. Is anybody else still here? Where are you from? Yes, Renee is from California. Gotta live probably is about 20 minutes from Brisbane. Awesome. So close to the big city. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I'm gonna wind things up. I was thinking about showing you um, what it looks like when they come out. Maybe I'll do that next time. We'll do a quick little, you know, what the impressions look like when you do this yourself. <laughs> Canadian border of New York. Ah, that's awesome. <laughs> well, thank you all for coming. I am so excited. I had so much fun. Um, we'll see you all tomorrow. And, uh, oh, I'm so glad I made it. I am so glad you made it, too. I love you, too, sweetie. <laughs> That's awesome. So go check out each other's channel. Don't use the word sub in anything. You can get us in a lot of trouble on YouTube. Um, you know, just say, I got you, or I liked your stuff, or watching and supporting, watching and enjoying. Um, yeah, just build your families. And thank you for the birthday wishes. Um, yeah. Yeah, so bye guys, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>